Hello and welcome to Tights TV. Um, I'm on my own. And I think a lot of fans and back or you know, guests and back what are normally a bomb. Uh, but that disillusioned with the game yesterday. I, I, I still think we're struggling to find words for this 45 minutes performance. Uh, so much to talk about. I try to cover quite a few things in after the video. Leave your comments. I'm sure we'll pick up on uh, some stuff. Uh, relevant to you know players missing. Uh, got my own thoughts about Carl Styles. But before we get there, um, let's get on to it. <clears throat> so at line up against the next city side, thinking I think we're 14, 15th at table. And I'm thinking, yeah, Luke O'Connell, we're out. We came, we're out. So you're looking at midfield and Edward is at midfield area, and I think it proved that in first day. Sent to be going through us like an knife through butter. We know tackles getting put in, we want closing down, we want marking right, even on corners. People behind me were saying it's like we're on a training pitch. Is that the when we were defending the corner, our players weren't reacting to you know them taking short corner. It's like we, you know, this is what you do in training. You you go there, you go edge at box, you go there. And in in game situation, at times you're seeing Cadden. Talk to De Givney, De Givney talk to Shepherd. Shepherd's like, where well, am I? And I'm not just singling Shepherd out here, but defenders were at sixes and sevens, literally at back. The mass defending a, a, you know, a, a corner, not picking up the men. So slow, so unbelievable. And again, when they were breaking, we're going through our midfield, nobody's going close, when nobody's closing down, nobody's playing tackling, even Roberts in goals, like saying, get here, push down, get in. It, it, well, um, or Keith, a right wing back role again. A lot of times, I was frustrated with him. I thought at times when Williams had the ball, he was looking for Williams. To, uh, Williams were making looking for O'Keefe, sorry, to make a back run so he could pass it. But O'Keefe won't making a run, he won't, and that was frustrating. Is that he won't making a run? And then, bit the time he, O'Keefe did get it, he passed it back. But then, at times when he could have switched it out to Cadden. Or we're in acres of space, we seem to be going sideways back and we won't really we won't I'm not looking for to create chances, but nobody in midfield to come forward and pick the ball up apart from picking down some situation which we'll get on to. So again it was frustrating for staff. Um his own doings, his, his own doings with uh, goal conceded, um poor clearance. Russell not quick enough to get to second ball to clear it and well yet and Aitchison uh, put it away. And I was going to say this about Aitchison and all. I thought it was a total uh, lack of disrespect, if I'm being honest. Uh, I've seen it on socials and I've, I've voiced my opinion on that as well. I thought it was disrespectful by uh, Aitchison uh, gaining it the, the Billy Big, you know, bollocks, gaining it large way, you know, and scuffed of it he is. Um, a lot of fans stood by Aitchison, even though they were finding it hard at club. So for into the that, I thought it was a lack of respect. And to say that you, you know, gain it all the, the almighty score a goal against before former club. A few things need to take into consideration with this is that with that goal, what you scored, you got 18 goals in what, seven, eight years. So there's so lots to celebrate about that. You left Barnes because you wanted to go to Scotland to be close to your family. You know, granted, you went up there six months later, you ended up going further south of Exeter. So, again, I don't get where uh, a player who oh, a lot of fans get him a lot of time for, get a lot of patience for, defended him a lot. One of us would call it, you know, it was not the answer, it's other. You had quite a lot of, you know, uh, fans supporting you, uh, uh, Mr. Aitchinson. So, for you to do that, I thought it was a lack of respect, a lack of class on your behalf. So moving on from that, um, again, we, we, we didn't learn his lessons, did we? Did not learn his lessons. And not long after, it was similar similar again. We were well, so slow, close out. Um, Cole got it on edge of box, sold it, put it away. And even some at Bounds fans, I don't get this one bit. Even some at 
uh, Barnsley fans as well, like applauding it. I'm thinking, really? <laughs> you know, it's opposition. It's an opposition. Yeah, well, good goal. Fair enough. Granted, but to applaud it. Um, but yeah, I, I, it was a decent goal. I admired it. Can't say I didn't. You see it in other games and that. But I'm certainly not going to applaud it. I'm certainly not going to clap for that. You should be getting onto our defenders and saying, well, you know, why are you closing it down and why are you allowing him that space for him to do that in the first place? If I'm being honest, and this is my opinion about what anybody else thinks, but if I'm being honest, I have expected a substitution to be made at this day. I've been flashing my mind back, way back, when they give me, and into the best of games, and he came off after half hour. Well, I thought, what well, deserved man at match? By the way, I have expected someone like Cole Keith probably to come off, Russell to come off. Um, I, I, Cotter came on, I know Cotter came on for the second half as the Cosgrove, but I have expected, you know, Waters to come off. I'm not being funny at all, and I don't like slating players and make it all personal, but I'm afraid that Max Waters, for me, Need to go out on loan somewhere just to get lads some confidence. At times, I didn't think at, at times I didn't think we were in game. Uh, I thought we'd had ten men. I didn't really recognise that he was on pitch. For being honest, you don't really offer out. Cosgrove comes on, and although he's lacking goals and that Cosgrove, he offers you that bit more of physical presence. He offers you that bit more uh, shit of a of a player, um, and again. I want, I'm surprised he didn't start. Going on to second half. Um, we couldn't complain any worse, that was for sure. So, you know, I've seen someone on socials like saying, oh, we played better in second half. Could we played any worse? Um, it was poor first half, poor first half. I think if we'd have conceded another goal, I could have seen a fair few people starting to go. Because I had rumblings, you know, at half time and that, you know, went to the toilets and stuff like that. Or if one more goes in by then, that's it, I'm going. I'm, so you could tell it would be a, it would be a. It started with great intensity. I thought Barry Cotter has, has ever uh, got the legs, he runs up and down, long throw ins, another threat as well. Meet crossbar, made a goal that's allowed a few times, and I think. McAtee is just offside, but call were on. It would have been interesting again in hindsight. It's a great thing, isn't it? If call had given McAtee a shout, you know, because uh, call looking at him more, looking across, they could see. So it'd been interesting to see if they should give a shout to McAtee, you know, leave it all run or whatever. But both were in for the same ball. Good finish, by the way. Good finish. Um, but Unfortunately, it was offside. It crossed bar. I thought Cole made a decent run. He had a shot parried away, and I'm thinking if it had just looked up, and it, it, it well, at the end of the day, confidence is via, is, is wanting a goal. He has double figures. For a split second, if it had just looked up to his left, McAtee were running in. If it had probably squared it, McAtee, I think, it had a better option. But in Full speed at game and that it's easy to have been done, I suppose. I think this highlights for me certain areas of a imbalanced squad that we've got. Certainly midfield, Luke O'Connell came on and a great reception he got, as always, is definitely a fan favourite, definitely my favourite. Wanting ball, pick it ball up and looking for that pass. Played a few pings. He could pick him up in one fact he picked ball up and made a run and had about a twenty five yard shot which were parried away. That's what he offers us. That's what we missed. And you look at the midfield at first half, yeah. It weren't the best. But for me, it should have still been more than capable to give extra a game. We got Russell and got Phillips. You know, you've got them two over here. We've been in, we've been involved in this team action. It's not as if I've come straight out of the camp and not like that. And again, you're looking then up front. Oh, we've got to come off at bench to really make a difference. 
Cosgrove came off the bench, but for me, Cosgrove should have started if you'd have brought Waters on. I have expected him to fetch Marsh on for that extra bit of pace up front, you know, to, to take a, another midfielder up and just, just chuck someone on. We were going for a game. That's when we went for uh, latter stages, uh, I think, corner, uh, getting Roberts to come up, you know. Uh, what can I say? It's just baffling. It's just, I know we're still in playoffs. People say, yeah, but we're in playoffs and Donovan Pines is going to come in. Donovan Pines is going to be the answer. He's going to be part of the solution. But there's still a lot of felters in that side. We miss McCart. You know, we're missing someone who's commanding. We're missing someone in midfield when Luke Connors out. I think even if Herbert Kane had been there, I don't think it would have been that much of a difference. It would have still been, it had been trying, Herbert Kane, but then look at the support round him all, all we've got you can't do it all you send Luke Connell did try um, up front again then then you're looking to Devante Art McAtee will gain a go he got no real intensity or game changer to come off baffling I just thought that come end it uh, transfer window which is a matter of days night now but we've added a bit more depth a bit more to the squad as a whole, not just the team, but the squad. And like I say, for me, it's like an imbalanced, and it's reflecting on the game that are going to be coming thick and fast. I mean, geez, we've got we've got Bolton, Bolton on Saturday. That's going to be a massive game. That massive. We need to show hundred times more intensity, hundred more times intensity than what we did in the first half for sure. Otherwise, the game could be over. The game could be over at half time if we don't, you know go out with a different mindset. Um, I've seen some people calling Collins out and, his, um, and all that. And again, you look at players, what he's got to work with. Um, could he have met, yeah, in hindsight, you look back, don't you? But it was what happened on training pitch. But all of a sudden, look, uh, Callum Styles is, oh, has picked up a illness. Yeah, ironic, but, um, you know, he didn't met the Oxford game. Apparently, we're talks were and discussing, and all of a sudden, he's like picked up an illness, Calvin Styles. So, again, I want players that actually want to play for Barnley Football Club. I want I, if that's the case, and his head's changed elsewhere and his options, and he's, he's got this illness, cash in and go. I don't want play, I don't want to be carrying players at Barnley Football Club. I want players that actually be here. Um, for all that, uh, Jack Shepard's got his critics and that the last point is not line, and at least he's gaining it a go. So when I put it in context with stuff like that, people say, yeah, Jack Shepard's this, Jack Shepard's that. But Jack Shepard got brought in, a part of the development squad, but things what's happened is had to be put in, lad. And it gives it his all. It gives it his all. And he's still learning. But I'd rather have a player that's committed and wanting to do well, but not meaning to play poorly, is, is wanting to play professional. I'd rather have that than someone who's like, because they turned elsewhere for a, a move that might or might not happen alone but, or repairment or whatever it is. I don't want that. And I'm sure Neil Collins don't want that at club or at locker room at, at half time. What you do want is people like Donovan Pines, who was not playing, but still goes into locker room and is still involved in match days and is still for cause, even though he's not even put um, a boat on and played first team football yet. But that's what you want. You want a character like that. You want people like that to get round. You know, you, I, I looked at the full-time whistle went to certain players were devastated. And those players said, like, going through motions. Um, Liam Roberts, again, I, I, I just wish we could get him signed as a permanent. Uh, McAtee, another fan favourite as well, for sure. Again, it's all down to finances and that I appreciate. But, Disappointing day at office. Uh, again, 2 1. You know, the given a man at match, got a goal. And I think, it, I think you know, it, it, it kind of warranted it. It, it. it helped him. And for me, it. Because he had the best uh, game in past, people have still been saying, oh, he's still learning, oh, he's a bit unsure. And for me, given a, I thought he was deservedly man at match. And the goal to boot, so 
club again. Look at rest in it. And I think it highlights how poor this league is when you look at the the defensive unit that we're playing out at times. And it's fear for attacking. I mean, I'm looking at league table right now and Coastal 59, Bolton 57, uh, Peterborough 56, as is Derby. We're on 52. Stephen is 49, as is Oxford. And you go down then to probably 10th, later on until 39. So again, you look at what could have happened, the points that were frustrating, frustrating. 12 game unbeaten runs come to an end. Let's, let's see if we can go on another 12 game uh, unbeaten run. It's going to be a big task because we've got some big teams coming up now. Um, up the top end of the table as well, coming up in the next few weeks. So, be interested to know what your thoughts are in the comments on this. I think I've covered more or less everything. We all, we all disappointed. We all saw what happened. I think we all know more or less what needs to happen, all being well. But yeah, definitely need some players in to get this sorted out to give them that final push. Did it in last January transfer window and uh, some key personnel came in and two watch springs to my straight away is Eistead and Thomas. A couple of them kind of type of characters to come in dressing room. I think it could help massively. We've got Donovan Pines in. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Disappointing week and uh, Barnsley fans appreciate that. Um, and again, don't want to dwell on too much because there's not much to really take out from game apart from slight positives. And it is very slight, is that uh, they're giving the got match match and we had a better second half, but like I said, it couldn't have got any worse. So appreciate you taking time out. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for the new Patreon members as well. Again, it's all in links, start all starts with pound. Um yeah, disappointing weekend, isn't it? Just send it down. All being well things can get sorted out from training pitch and we can add a few other players in for the squad. Uh, big game against Bolton. Love doing another video. Uh, another review, another video review. Not much else left to say, but apart from you reds.